There we go. So if you're going to put glasses on your face, there's a few things to remember as you're looking at them. Most people, there's almost like a width of your eye underneath your eye where the glasses still show, but they kind of cut off close to your eye. One of the things students do that they haven't quite closely observed yet is they tend to just circle their eye with their glasses when really they tend to be a little lower so they almost sit on your cheek. So if I'm looking at the glasses over here, they're just sort of basic straight glasses. I try to find something that's similar to something you guys might have. And the top will sit typically somewhere over the bridge of the nose. And then often they'll cut off part of the eyebrow, but you wanna get that shape down as careful as you can. So I'm really carefully observing the shape of the glasses. And on this person, they cut off a bit of the eyebrow and I don't see much of the crease of the eye. So they kind of come in here and they cut off there and then they widen here. So I'm looking at the shape and I'm first starting by getting the shape of the glasses and how they sit on the face. So I'm looking at where they sit on the face and then I'm looking at the outside shape. So I'm starting with this outside shape and it looks like here, this is a little wider, sits more here. So you look at where it hits the bridge of the nose you look at where it hits um, the side of the nose. And then like I said, there's typically more here. So it looks like here it sits right about here. And then this comes in here. So I start with this outside shape. And then this sticks out just a little bit. And then, oh look, it doesn't sit on top of her ear. So I must have done something wrong. Yep, I gotta go a little higher. So this comes up a little more, and then this goes back here. And I know it's a little hard to see because it's dark, but this is actually a lighter shade on these glasses. So I shade that in, and then this is here. Now, the inside is pretty much the same thickness around the bottom. So even though I want to carefully observe the shape on my reference or on my glasses themselves, when I get to this part, I really do need to look more at my drawing than my self. Normally I want to look more at myself because I want to get it right. The answer to like how does it really sit is on the the image or on myself. Now here usually the insides curve and I look at that that hits right about at the crease of the eye and then this side curves here a little bit like this. Now, if I were to just to shade this in, it would look like a flat shape. And we're doing so much work to make these wonderful, careful um, adjustments to, let's see, to all the values around the eye that I don't wanna just have a flat shape on top. It won't look realistic. So it's more important that I start to look at what I can do to see thickness. Oftentimes on the edge of glasses, you might see a little bit of a light shine at the edge of the lens. That's a little wide. That should be a little bit thinner. And there's some glare spots. So over here, I see a glare spot right around the nose piece. Here, there's a little glare spot here. And I would continue to draw this. It gets dark and I know it's hard to see through the Elmo over here, like to put this piece in here. So I would continue and draw the whole shape, but I'm not gonna make you watch me draw the whole shape right now so you have more drawing time. So I see glare here, I see one here, I see a little glare spot as it kind of curves here. And in the eye itself, these must be some pretty good anti-glare lenses. There's often like a little bit of glare on the lens itself that might help. Now, the other thing I wanna do, I'm gonna shade this in so you can see that dark. There's also a thickness here. So, just to get this little edge in here, will show that there's some depth and some thickness there. It's a little hard to see. So I'm gonna shade these in, but I also need to make these glasses sit on her face. Right now, I don't want them to be just this black thing that cut across her face and don't believably sit. So in order to do that, I need to take a look at the cast shadows on her face. So what just happened? Just opened some random page accidentally. So there we go. I have this now. To make this actually sit on her face, I'm noticing because of her glasses, there's more of a shadow here. So this is actually gonna darken in here. Oh, my 
last copy was from a different printer. This was easier to see. Sorry about this. So I'm trying to blacken this part so you can see the difference. And then there's a shadow in here because the light is coming from, well, this light's coming from this way. And then right below here, there's actually a shadow on her cheek. And this is important because if I don't see that, then it won't believably sit on her cheek. And shadows don't have outlines, so I'm just gonna very gently shade this, and it's pretty light. This may even be a little bit dark. And there's a little bit of shadow in here because the light's coming from over here. But this is, that's gonna make it believably sit on her face if I have the shadows in there. So be thinking about what you can do to make it sit, that's a little dark. Um, on the face where you see those shadows, get the shape in correctly and get little edges in there and glare spots will make it believably look three-dimensionally. That's a pretty big glare spot. Those are kind of my big hints. Any questions on those? All right, let's spend a little time on the eyes. I'm gonna come around and help all of you and then if we have time, I'll do the mouth today. If not,